So today we're doing the ice hike. Even just on the speedboat, the great glacier is already greeting us by the wind and the freeze. So better wrap up the jackets, gloves, hats, and naked. After getting off the boat, the hike started by the front and side of glacier, and we can already see the deep blue ice under the six kilometers wide, 28 kilometers long, and 18,000 years old glacier. After putting on the safety equipment, including ice axe, helmets, and so on, and we can officially step onto the ice. Excitement! Actually, walking on the ice is much easier than what I expected before, because the ice is very hard and the spiked stones grab the surface very nicely. All the way, you can enjoy the sound like the crunch of the cookies. Still, gotta be very careful that the source may come off from the shoes. And always use the axe to test the ice before you step down. Great Glacier really surprised us with various of landforms like cracks, turtles, caves, ice slopes, undercurrents of water, rivers, cliffs, forehead of Harry Potter, ice pond, marines, and some strange shapes. What's better? There is pure natural mineral water for free. It takes about 5 hours to finish this entire hike. When the weather is very nice, very clear like today, it's not difficult at all. Just enjoy the moment. So take a look at the landscapes of the glacier again. We have to go back before the sunset. At this moment, the wind starts blow and we can see the rain in distance. So if you encountered a rainy day, the waterproof and windproof outfit from the head to the toe is definitely necessary. We join this ice hike with Bigfoot. Just go to their website to make reservation and they always reply the email very quickly. Hiking on a glacier is always on my bucket list and it's really once a lifetime experience. So if you also dream to have this experience, Great Glacier really should be on your list. Back to the boat in the wind and rain and look at this 30 meters thick ice with satisfaction. Salud, hasta pronto, Great Glacier.